Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. How you guys doing? I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius. Um, we're going to jump right into this because I'm asleep. I'm asleep. <laughs> welcome to the, new, to the newbies. Welcome. Have a seat and join us. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, what resonates and leave the rest. And if love shows up, you know what to do. Reverse the roles as needed, okay? Aquarius, your overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. You're thinking to yourself, what is it that I'm going to do next? Hmm. <laughs> Let's get some energies for the Aquarius Collective. What's going on with the Aquarius Collective? Those that have subscribed to our channel, those who like our videos and share our videos, and those that are divinely guided to our channel. Thank you. What's going on? Look, they don't want to fight no more. I see that. So we got the Tower, the Knight of Cups, and the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, thank you. And the Ten of Pentacles, absolutely wonderful. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Wands. It's all about communication, love, and all that. Okay, the Tower, the Scorpio energy. Why is this here? Why is the Tower here? Why is the Tower here for the Aquarius Collective? The card of big changes, disasters. What is going on with the Aquarius for the week of February 27th through March the 3rd? Okay. Something big is going to happen. And with this Leo energy of the sun, it's all going to turn out fine. And you're in prayer with the swords. Okay. You're not speaking too much about this relationship that you may be having with an older gentleman, older woman. Huh? I don't know. Knight of Cups. Why is this here? Thank you. An offer is going to come in and you're being told not to miss it with this four of cups. The opportunity is going to present itself to you, Aquarius, and it's telling you not to miss it with that four of cups, okay? Five of wands, okay? In reverse. Why is this card here for the Aquarius Collective? Thank you. Why are you hesitant to move forward? Nobody, nobody wants to fight anymore. I'll check it, though, because you know I like to check my reversals. Cherry to seven. That's cancer energy. In reverse, forcefulness and aggression. Lack of direction. Lack of self-control. Being blocked by obstacles may lack confidence. Set boundaries and stick to them. Yeah, there you go. As far as love, slow down. Forcing things could go wrong. Okay. What I'm seeing here is you you are y'all coming out of some kind of um fighting, and it's saying that uh Set boundaries and stick to them so that you don't go back to that arguing and stuff. That's what I'm seeing there. In your relationship. Ten of Pentacles. Why is this here? For the Aquarius Collective. And you got the Five of Swords. So you're going to be victorious in attaining all of all that you desire. Okay? You, you want to desire. You desire to have all this contentment, Aquarius. And, and you're going to get that, okay? You're going to outsmart and beat your enemies. Yes, you are. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. That's the card of work. What else we got for the Aquarius Collective? What else we got for the Aquarius Collective? Thank you. 
You got the Ace of Pentacles, that card of ultimate contentment being given to you, money coming in. Okay, so maybe somebody's going to get a new job. This reading is like all over the place. Okay, the emperor, that's the grandfather of the deck to me. It's an older individual that sits in their power. Don't speak too much. Don't tell nobody. They don't tell the left hand what the right hand is doing. Okay. Okay. So somebody's being lethargic with the Six of Cups. And they're keeping it close to their chest. They're not telling nobody that they're being lethargic. They're not telling nobody what they're thinking. Somebody is being really secretive here. The hermit doing your homework about uh, something, some some past, uh, about a past relationship that didn't work out. So you're looking up an ex right now because you want a new beginning. Dang, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Look at it. I can't make it up. And look at the card that was behind it. My goodness. Look, a passion, a new beginning. Everything you want and you ask for, you're going to receive it with the Ace of Wands. And then you got the, the Ace of Swords. Somebody really hates somebody or loves somebody. But these are both new beginnings that you're about to have. Can't make it up. So somebody's on online looking up. Or somebody's online looking up uh, a past love that they may have messed up and dropped the ball on. Okay? And they're praying about it. Mm. Praying about this new beginning. They got to have it because they can't stand who they with. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, the Emperor. I mean, not the Emperor, but what else you got for the Aquarius Collective? What else we got for the Aquarius Collective? Yeah, somebody's looking up an ex. They're trying to get a new job. Maybe it's the ex boss. I don't know. Because it is talking about work, it is the card of work. Yeah, maybe they're looking up a new boss. Maybe they're tired of the job they're in. But just looking at the base here, you, well, you're going to have a new a new beginning. And you're going to have your contentment, Aquarius. Yeah. Yeah, and the offer's coming in. And it's telling you, do not miss this new offer that's coming in to you. And then with the Queen of Pentacles, it's talking about uh, just uh, taking care of your business. Okay, or you're, are you praying for that new love, that Queen of Pentacles energy? That homemaker energy, okay? Page of Swords. Somebody may be watching. Six of Cups. I mean, not Six of Cups. Can we get some more energies, please? Just fight me. Yeah, because they're feeling lonely in the world right now. So they, they would love to have a mate right now. Okay, Aquarius. What else we got for Aquarius? Thank you. Yeah. Holding on, not really doing too much, not putting too much effort um, towards anything. You feel like you're being held back. There's some reason you cannot attain this. You can't get uh, your mate. Is there something going on there? Oh, my goodness gracious. Stop playing. The hermit. What's up on here? Okay. Somebody's watching. And 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 um, it may be um, some sort of uh, some sort of karmic or a soulmate. They're watching though, okay. Or or somebody standing their ground in their relationship, because that's what it looks like here. Like somebody was in a relationship and they just ready to get out of it, and they're looking for a new opportunity to move forward. They're they're setting boundaries in their relationship. Or it could be a job, but I'm seeing a relationship here. But it could definitely be a job, and they're setting they're setting their their boundaries, and they're going to be successful at at getting exactly what it is they want. Ooh. I'm hearing the sirens from the police cars outside. What time is it? Two forty. Two forty six. Yeah, somebody really um, does not like who they're with. And they're going to have clear communication with this person. 
that they want to move on to a new relationship. I can't make this up. This is crazy. I can't believe that just came out like that. Mm. Aquarius, you're being told not to, uh, you need to go into prayer about this whole situation. I don't know what happened in this tower, in this tower energy. But it caused you to go into prayer. You like, oh, it, for some reason it made you happy, but you went into prayer after this tower moment, whatever happened. Keep your eyes out for this opportunity that's about to present itself to you. Do not miss it. And, 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 and as far as all the fighting and stuff, the, the chariot in reverse says create boundaries and stick to those boundaries with your mate. Yeah. And then you're going to have your abundance. You're, you're going to come out on top. You're going you're gonna to come out on top. You're going to get your, all your contentment. Can't make it up. Yeah. Let's, you, let's get you some... um. And that new beginning, that Aries energy, that new beginning at the bottom. Oh, no, and then look what's behind that. Oh, no, and then look what's behind that. And then, oh, no, let's look what's behind that. Oh, snap, let's look behind that. And then look what's behind that, Aquarius. For you that don't know what these cards are saying, new beginning. Ultimate love. This is love overflowing, money overflowing, career, job, everything overflowing. Defeating all your enemies. Get out of my way. Move. Get out the way. Okay. And you're going to get justice. Or maybe you're going to a justice because right behind that was the marriage card. Defeating all your enemies. Aquarius, you ain't got nothing to worry about this week. Absolutely wonderful. You got everything you need with that right there. But they watching you, whoever they is. Somebody fine watching you, but the universe is, is uh, orchestrating this whole ordeal. Everything is happening just the way it's supposed to. Any advice for the Aquarius Collector regarding the spread for this week? That's absolutely wonderful. I ain't, I ain't seen that in a while. I don't think I ever seen all the victory cards come out like that all together at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that was a little strange. Yeah. The Aquarius Collective. Any advice? You're going to get your justice, though, behind whatever that tower moment is, that Scorpio energy. Why is this card fighting me? Okay. Codependency. Um, ad addictions are affecting your uh, romantic life. Okay, you know your story. This guy was fighting me. This could be the one. You're already, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. You know your story, Aquarius. Let's go around one more time. Aquarius Collective. I see something flipped over. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is um, returning to your life. We saw that something from the past was coming back. Or you was looking for somebody from the past. Yeah. Mm. Let's see if we got any advice from the African Goddess Rising Deck. For the Aquarius Collective. Thank you. The energy in this reading we got anything else? Uh, for the um, Aquarius Collective. Okay, thank you. Grief. Somebody's um, um, suffering grief right now. They're going through this, someone's grieving. Hmm. So, yeah, you're gonna have to be patient with them. And if it's you, Aquarius, you, you, you don't wanna make any uh, rash decisions while you're in grief. I know I've been there. So, the worst rules is needed. Naked. Okay, you need to be honest and open about what you're feeling and speak to your mate before you go making decisions like busting up and getting divorces and stuff. You gotta really sit down and talk like adults. That's what adults do. Adults talk. 
You know, and if somebody wants to go, and if somebody wants to go, let them go. Because if they stay, your life is going to be miserable anyway. That don't even make sense. Yeah, you're, you're not leaving me. You're not going anywhere. Oh, no, you're not going anywhere. But if they don't go and they want to go, what you think your life is going to be like? They're going to hate you. So you can't hold on to people. If they want to go, let them go. It don't make sense. Stop trying to hold on to people. We are uh, spirits, energies, having a human experience. You can't make somebody stay with you. My ex told me right to my face. He didn't want me, and I know why he said it. But he told me right to my face, you know what I did? I got in my car, and I left. And I never went back. I called him two times. Maybe three. He didn't answer. I never went to his house. I never did nothing. I let it go. Because that's what he said he wanted. Huh? Now he's been stalking me. And he don't want to let me go. He's still in love with me. What you gonna do? You can't control other people, is what I'm saying. <laughs> you can't control other people. Don't do it. Let them go. If somebody wanna go, let them go. Like they say, if somebody love you, they'll come back. And then the then the ball in your court, and you got all the power. So let them go. Let them go. Let them go. They come back. You got all the power. Like he man. Like she ra. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sleepy, y'all. Thank you so much for coming to visit the Scorpio Tigers Tarot. If you like it, you got something from my reading, like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Aquarius, good luck with that. I don't know what I'm naming that one. But you guys, you guys take care. All right.